so this is Towers of Tomorrow. It's about some of the largest towers in the world, both today and planned for uh, for the future. Uh, at Science World, we're also bringing in a lot of community building. So no building is an island. They exist within the context of a city, within a community, within an ecosystem. And we're trying to emphasize all of those aspects of architecture and city planning. Well, once the kids come in and start building their own, all bets are off. Uh, right now, what you see is uh, is what's come in for the uh, with the traveling exhibition, and we're putting up a whole bunch of our own. Uh, we're working right now on a, a scale model of the False Creek neighborhood, uh, which includes uh, a few dozen extra buildings. Letting your curiosity and, uh, and your excitement run wild. Uh, there's no limit to what you can build with the Lego that we have here in the gallery for people to, to just play and build with, uh, to imagine towers of their own creation, what their ideal community might look like. So we're, we're looking at building not just the structures themselves, but the entire context, the cities, the communities, and the ecosystems that go along with it. Basically these towers are all the same scale, one to 200 scale, um, basically towers from North America and Asia. Um, quite interesting buildings, they're not necessarily, some of them are the tallest and the biggest, some of them are interesting for different reasons. There might be uh, sustainability for community reasons. The Shanghai Tower, it's the hardest one to build by a fair way. It's actually shaped like a guitar pick, it's sort of a rounded triangle which twists as it goes up, so a very difficult shape to make out of Lego bricks. This exhibition is made up of uh, well over a million Lego bricks, so, which is totally crazy and took a couple of thousand hours to put together. So a lot of Lego. I built around about a third of the buildings for here, so some of the some of the bottles are mine. Burj Khalifa I built, the Shanghai Tower, Tokyo Tower I put together. So I've made some of the buildings and my team have made the rest. Now, the thing about it is, and I'm very fortunate with it, it's, it's a very aspirational career. As you can imagine, lots of little boys and girls would love to do what I do for a living. So uh, what, what this gives them an opportunity in an exhibition like this is to see that kind of stuff and hopefully get inspired. And when they get home, crank out their legs, go and make something amazing too.